dreams to play for professional basketball back in high school. So I first met Coach Wade when he was actually an assistant coach for the Wild Varsity Boys basketball team. And then from then on, our relationship kind of just developed, and he took me under his wing and we started training together. And that's when I was introduced to the Falcons. So the main reason that I joined Falcons was actually back in high school. My main goal was to play college basketball. And during the season, we would have training and stuff, but after the season ended, there was no, there was no really practice, no practice unless you practice by yourself. And Falcons gave me and other players the opportunity to practice during the off season and play with guys that we would be playing with during the season, so that we would be better prepared for the next season. Man, Falcons basketball play was completely different when it first started. I remember there was only like ten players on the team, and now I heard it was like five hundred. So it did like a complete 360, 180 turn, and um, yeah, there was no, there's not that many practices. We played the like, game every two weeks, not really the league that was set in stone, and now it's just crazy how big the has gotten. So like I just said, Falcon provided practice when there was no practice, and we did individual sessions in Coach Way, we did group sessions, we did team practice, and in my opinion, my biggest improvements was with Coach Way during the winter time, I would both stay in Beijing, to work on ball handling, shooting, defense, and I really do believe my biggest improvements were during the time that I spent with Coach Way. Uh, it was definitely last summer. We played against Yonke and Yijong. That was, that was absolutely crazy because the other team, I think every player was above two meters. And then we didn't have a single guy like that on our team. From what I can remember, it was me, William Lin, David Jang, Todd, and forgive me, but I can't remember who the other, the, our center was. But he was, we, I was probably like one of the tallest ones on the team back then. And no one thought we would win because I think they were ranked like top 10 in the country. And then um, we actually beat them on a game winner, which was absolutely insane. And that was by far my favorite moment in Falcons. If I had to give one advice to the current or people who are thinking about joining Falcons, it is definitely, I want to let you guys know that when I was your age, when I was in elementary school, middle school, I didn't have this opportunity. There was no clubs like this in Beijing and it took so much time for me to try to, I looked everywhere to try to find a club that I could play with. And I remember I registered with Sports Beijing, but at most you do one practice a week and maybe one game every other two weeks. And there was no club that would, you would really see drastic improvements in the game. Um, now, so my advice would be to just take advantage of the opportunity guys have now because I know I definitely would have went to every single practice or session, any type of session that I felt like to help because I didn't have that as a kid. So yeah, my biggest advice is to take advantage of the opportunity that you guys have. I'm leaving back to Canada tomorrow and I guess my last words is I hope, or I already know because I know which way, I know the is going to grow much more every, every single year and I hope that all the athletes that are currently in Falcons have a successful season and continue to improve their game and hopefully um, achieve their basketball goals and I wish you guys all the best.